The God of Islam has no spirit. So how Muhammad God is the same as your God? If the God of Islam has no spirit. Christian Prince. Yes. So I have here an Orthodox Jew, right? So according to you, Allah is not, uh, according to you, Allah is a pagan God and Jews do not worship him or whatever. Hmm. Uh, can I ask him? So, sure, sure, uh, ask him. Tell me. You know? hmm. Okay, go ahead. Me. Hello? Me. Go ahead. You are Orthodox Jewish, my friend? Yes. All right. What do you think about Muhammad? Muhammad, um, by essentially the Quran and a hadith, uh, from what I've seen, I think he was a, a false prophet, obviously. I think he was primarily hallucinating the majority of the things uh, you know, that he was doing, including revelation. However, morally speaking, I don't think that he was that morally detestable when it comes to his relations with Jews, um, politically speaking, military, you know, militarily speaking, right? Okay. Can, can, can you stop, please? Can you can you stop, please? Can you, can you stop? Give me the other person. The other person, would you? The one. The one. Did you hear the Jew saying to you? And you are the one who brought him to talk to me, saying that your prophet is a, saying that your prophet is a scumbag. He is a fraud. He is a liar. What do you say? I didn't say scumbag. Well, I am saying that, but obviously you are saying that, but you, maybe you don't dare to say it. The second you say, the second you say he's a false prophet, that means he's a scumbag, because a scumbag is the one who takes the money of the people. Listen, listen. So give me the Muslim, please. Give me the Muslim. The Muslim. The one. Are you there? This guy, he, he brought you here to say that you believe in Allah, and you just said to me that Muhammad believed in different Allah. So how do you believe in the same one? Muhammad is a false prophet. Because if Muhammad, he believe in Allah, is the Allah who will send him, and you don't believe that he sent by the God, that's when you believe in different God. Well then, uh, the thing is, that's also not true, right? Because there were false prophets back in the day of Jeremiah. <laughs> right? Who actually, they were themselves. Okay, listen. So the, the false prophet, prophets, right? the false prophet, who is their god according to the Torah? Isn't it their god is Satan, the false prophet? Because all lies come from Satan. No, no. no these um, these people would still have the same god. Ah, so prophet, you are a false prophet, but you have the same God. Okay, hold on. When you prophesy, when you prophesy, you are prophesying in the name of which God? In the name of the true God, but it's not a true prophecy. So you are a liar. So you're agreeing that Muhammad is lying. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Muhammad is lying, prophesying in the name of a false God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You and the Jewish guy, both of you are a fraud. Let me tell you why. Because if he's a Jew, if he is a Jew, he knew from the first, in the first verse in the second, in the, in, the, in the Old Testament, it says it clearly in the book of Genesis right away that God in his spirit, do you agree, Mr. Jewish man, that God had a spirit? Do you agree that in the book of Genesis mentioned that God in his spirit, yes or no? Yes, but it, okay. it let us go. Let word. us go to the second part. Do you agree that God had a spirit, yes or no? Yes, but in Ruach. Okay, thank you very much. Stop, stop, stop. The God of Islam has no spirit. So how Muhammad God is the same as your God? If the God of Islam has no spirit? Well, essentially, well, actually, they believe that essentially God had a ruh. This is not, this is not the question. This is not the question. No, the Muslim didn't agree. They believe that Allah has no ruh. No, he... Abdallah, you're not going to let me finish. All right. See the same word that is used for ruach and again. This is not. This is, is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. You agree that God has a spirit. The Muslim don't agree that God has a spirit. They agree so, that he has a roof. They actually do agree that he has a roof. No, they don't. No, they don't. I can show you in the screen. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let us ask the Muslim. Let us ask the Muslim to answer for the Muslim. The one. Are you there? I'm here. Okay. Do you agree that Muslims believe that Allah has a spirit, or he don't? Yeah, we our soul comes from Allah subhanahu wa This is not the question. This is not the question. Allah Himself. Listen. Do Allah Himself have a spirit? Allah Himself, not our soul. Allah Himself. He He have a spirit or not? Again, you know, we consist out of, um, you know, what's it called the. Uh, yeah, one, one. Do you believe that Allah has a rule? This is not the question. This is not the question. Why you are playing game? I'm asking you. Do you Muslim believe that Allah have a spirit? Yes or no? And um, what do you mean by spirit? Is it something physical or not? The no. God of the Bible, he has, a spirit is a physical. What's wrong with you? Since when a spirit is a physical? Spirit is a spirit. Is Allah have a spirit? Is Allah a spirit? First of all, is Allah is a spirit? To make it simple. Okay. 
the spirit or soul, okay, is not one of the attributes of Allah, right? Thank you very much. So tell the idiot, so tell the idiot who said to you, tell the idiot who just said to me, the Muslim believe Allah has a spirit, and you just said, get lost, both of you, both of you are a bunch of monkeys, and you get busted. Because none of you, he gave me the correct answer, both of you are hypocrites, just shut up. The Jew, he agree that Muhammad is a false prophet, and he claimed that Muhammad worshiped the same God. Then we ask the Jew, is it true in the Old Testament it says God, he has a spirit, which means he's a spirit? He said yes. And he said stupidly, answer ignorance, showing ignorance, that Muslims believe in the same. We ask the one, do you believe that Allah has a spirit? In the beginning he tried to avoid to answer the question. And then we got them busted. He said no, a spirit of Allah is not, there's, Allah have no spirit. And it's not one of the attributes of Allah. So the God of Muhammad cannot be the God of the Bible because the God of the Bible has a spirit. And this is a fatwa in front of us, publication 25-11-2004, fatwa number 50774. It says it clearly, this is not any of the attribute of Allah as the one he said. So when you bring me a Jew who do not know what he's talking about, and he said the Muslim believe that Allah have a spirit, that because he's an ignorant. When you too much respect, you don't deserve. Because you don't call and you speak of knowledge about Islam if you don't know. We heard him saying the Muslim believe that Allah have a spirit. And then the one he got him busted. And this is the fatwa in the front of us saying it clearly. It's about me actually. Asking a Muslim. Do your God Allah have a spirit? The Muslim, he went to the Fatwa website and he asked them. <laughs> they told him no. No. But the God of the Bible, he does have a spirit. The God of the Bible is a spirit. The God of Islam is a physical being. He's a shin, he's a leg. He has a physical, you know, he is not a spirit. You from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands. So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. Always I wanted to see the leg of Allah, to be honest with you. It's my dream to open the TV one day and I see the leg of Allah. If you like to see the leg of Allah and you are interested, Please subscribe to our channel and we are going to send a petition to Allah so he can show us his leg. Brother, when you see the leg of Allah, you will go crazy. Okay, we get it. Allah have a leg. Now Allah is going to show the Muslim his leg. Why? And Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. Sorry guys, this was a commercial break for a show. It's coming soon. It's called Allah will show up his leg. Join the show. The attend for the show is really cheap. You know, you, you pay only two socks for Allah, and then you can join the show and Allah will show you his leg. Allah have hands, Allah have shin, Allah have leg, and Allah is going to do striptease. Continue. And they are called to prostrate, and everyone prostrates except the hypocrites. All the believers will prostrate. So you hypocrite, you will not prostrate to the leg of Allah. Look like you are not convinced with the leg of Allah. All the believers, they will prostrate. Oh, no, no, Allah will make their back and able to proceed. They want to proceed, but that's it. They cannot. Too late now. And the hypocrites will try to prostrate and their back goes one piece and they will be thrown into hell. Allah tells us about himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he has an eye. The Prophet tells us that the Prophet has, that Allah Azza wa Jal has fingers. So when you bring me a Jew and you claim that the Jew will show you that we have the same God, you brought me and you do not know what Islam teach. Because in order to have the same God, we have to have the same nature of same God. If my God has a spirit, and he is a spirit, and your God is not, then we are not sharing the same God. It's not the problem. The problem is not the name. What if a Muslim now, they change the name of their God, Allah, they call him Elohim, or they call him Jehovah, or Yahweh. It doesn't matter, still it's not the same God.